Microsoft PowerPoint is a powerful and also an easy to use presentation graphics software that allows you to create professional looking electronic slideshows. It has great capabilities to perform advanced operation. Based on this PowerPoint great features, we are going to create an interesting game known as Random Picker. Now, a random picker is a mechanism used randomly to select an item or object from a range of items. You can use this game in the classroom as a teacher to entertain the student where you can ask them what is going to appear during the shuffling of this particular game. This makes the class interesting and also entertaining. You can use text, images or shapes in the production of this random picker. We are going to use images to create our random picker. So let's dive in and explore this experiment. I have this PowerPoint opened and if you want to access Microsoft PowerPoint and open this special software on your desktop background, then I have a link of a video in the description below that is going to guide you on how to open Microsoft PowerPoint in different ways and you can do so. Now I have this home screen of this PowerPoint. I can select home and then choose blank presentation. You can also select new and then also choose blank presentation from this option. But by default, whenever you open PowerPoint, you get this home command selected. Therefore, you can click on this blank presentation or you can click on this arrow to expand and choose blank presentation. Now this moves you to this beautiful interface of Microsoft PowerPoint. And to start creating our random picker, we are going to make sure that our slide that is available should have a blank layout. So to have this in a blank layout, you can right click on this slide and in these options you select layout. And you are going to have this side menu appeared. You can choose blank from this option. You can also right click on this slide in the slide pane and also choose layout and then you can choose blank and this help us to ignore these text boxes that are defaultly available in this slide area now we are going to input some text and also some pictures and we can perform or create this particular mechanism or random picker so I'll move to my home tab or you can also move to the insert tab. In the home tab, we have this drawing group and I'm going to select this text box. And I'm going to click and then you are going to have this text box displayed in your slide area. I'm going to type some topic for this random picker. Now I have this text typed in this text box and I can change the formatting of this by changing the font type and also the font size so i'm going to hold ctrl plus a whilst the cursor is blinking in the text box then i'll move to my home tab in the font group i'm going to change the font type from calibre to any of these fonts that we have here and i'm going to choose area narrow then bold this and then also move to the font size and change this to 40 now i have this now i'm going to select this particular text box that is to select the border that is the border of this text box and when i click this is going to have this additional tab that is called a shape format and i'm going to click on this move to the arrange group choose align and then choose top and also align and choose center and this is perfectly at the top and center of this slide area. Now, the next thing is I'm going to insert a picture into this first slide. So I'll move to the insert tab. Then in the images group, I'm going to select pictures. And you're going to have these options. I have a picture on my this device. You can also import pictures from stock images or online pictures as well. I'm going to choose this PC. This provides you with this file explorer window. And I'm going to select the location where all my pictures are saved. 
and I'm going to import these pictures. I'm going to select this first picture and click on insert. Now this brings this picture into your slide area. You can have some adjustment to it. That is to increase or change the size of this picture. So you can use the handles around this picture. You click and drag. And also position it in this slide area. Now, the first slide is created. I'm going to have a duplicate of this slide. So I'll move to this particular slide in this slide pane. And I'm going to select and hold Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. And I'm going to have five fruits in this random picker. And since currently I have two slides here, I'm going to make three additional copy of this slide. So I'll hold Ctrl plus D three times on the keyboard. And now I have five slides created in this slide pin. Now let's move to the second slide. I'm going to select this picture, right click. And then in these options, I'm going to select change picture. And I'm going to choose this device. I'm going to navigate through these pictures and select the next picture. Now slide two is done. Let's move to slide three. Select this picture, right click. And I'm going to select change picture and choose this device. I'm going to glance through this and select a different fruit. Then I'm going to click on insert. Move to the fourth slide select this picture right click choose change picture and also from this device so we use this process for all the pictures that we have in the slide area so based on whatever you are using whether you are using a ship you are using text depends on how you change your text and also how you change your shape as well and since we are using pictures it depends on the type of pictures you want to use and also how many pictures you want to use and all this depends on your preference and i am using five slide in this particular video so let's glance through and get another fruit now i have all my pictures inserted into my slide areas now let's move to the next configuration that we want to have to make our mechanism work properly. You move to the menu bar and click on this slideshow tab. And then we have setup slideshow option in the setup group. I'm going to click on this. You have this beautiful dialog box and we are going to choose this option, which is loop continuously onto escape under the show options element so you select this and then choose ok our first configuration is completed then we move to the transition tab and in this option we move to the timing group and we have on mouse click checked we are going to click on this box to uncheck this option then we choose this second option which is after that has this duration here i'm going to click on this option then we select this apply to all option this is going to affect all the slide that we have in this particular presentation now let's jump straight to our slideshow mode we can press f5 on the keyboard
now we have apple as the fruit in this slideshow mode therefore any student that chose banana had a wrong answer and whoever chose apple had the correct answer and therefore if you want to reshuffle again you press the space bar on the keyboard 